and gentle readers, we are going to be watching the first two episodes of Bridgerton season three. I've been putting this off for quite a while now. This came out a, like a good three days ago, which is a long time for me to wait when it comes to a new Bridgerton season. But I wanted to do this for you. I wanted to record my reaction for you. So we're going to be doing the first two episodes, obviously, because I'm not going to do all four episodes because it's going to be a bloody six hour long video. So I'm, I'm getting excited. So let's just let's just begin. Dearest gentle reader, we have been apart for far too long. Last, London's fashionable set has made its return. And so too has this. She looks so good. I know, like, that's the intention because it's her season, but they should have never have been putting her in yellow. Ugh. It's good to be her. It was fit. It certainly is. And Ooh, you little sneaky bitch. And on everyone's mind is, of course, which... Oh, she's in yellow again. Debutante will shine I spoke too soon. Right. Seems as though your business is thriving. As is yours. I guess sneaky bitches. I support women's wrongs, it's fine. Perhaps she's been stunned into silence by the beauty of that giant feather. I cannot wait to wear one. Perhaps she has swallowed Ew. that giant feather. We're not ready to go? Is there anything we can do to help? Would you mind asking whoever is playing? Hey, mommy and daddy! Francesca! There's no need to shout. I'm not sure, <laughs> Me as fuck, honestly, me as fuck. I will ignore everyone in my family, and then the second they start shouting, I'm like, alright, why the fuck are you being so loud? <laughs> there is also the question of which gentleman will reveal himself as the prize of the season. Let us hope that their pairing brings. That dress is horrendous. Some. That was awful. Delation. Look, that is just not pleasant. I hate that. I despise that dress. Did we see that quiff? Did we see that quiff? Because let me not lie, I have not been very much looking forward to the season just because I cannot find it in the center of my core to even pretend to be attracted to him. But I have learned my lesson to never underestimate Shonda because that quiff. Okay, I didn't like that face that he pulled. Is that a brother? Colin? <laughs> Is that a brother? Colin? <laughs> thought you knew everything, bitch. I thought you knew everything that was going on. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> he looks good as fuck. Fuck, Shonda. How did you do that? He looks good! <laughs> Alright, don't acknowledge her. Bro got like a fucking hairdo, you got a blowout and just decided, you know what, fuck everyone else in my life. Piss off, men. You must tell us all about your adventures. Yes, upon your return last season, we'd heard all about your toil across the Mediterranean Sea by the time we broke off first fast. Indeed. Under what foreign sun did you apparently get so sturdy? Did you see that? Wait, is that here? That's a bumblebee or a bee on his button or on his shirt. I see what you're doing with the Bridgertons. I see you're trying to remind us of their dead father, aren't you? I caught the detail. You thought I wouldn't catch it. I'm all brain up here. Okay, here's what I'm predicting is going to happen because she's a Bridgerton and somehow the Bridgertons are always the most beautiful, perfect, you know, untouchable of the season, she's gonna walk in and Queen Charlotte, who's just been bored and miserable this entire time, is gonna be like, oh my God, you are gonna be the diamond or the gemstone or the emerald or the illegally mined rock of the season. I just predicted that completely wrong, didn't I? Could you imagine, could you imagine like checking a man out at a function and he does this? Stop, like I was just starting to like you again. 
that was disgusting. That was horrendous. That's the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm gonna watch it again. God, that that physically, I felt my insides recoil genuinely. I think that sterilized me. I thought our wedding was rather fine. Yes, they do say it is easier to impress older brides. <laughs> if it were to please my bride, I would wed you a second time. A third, as many as it takes to make you happy. Who is that? I don't remember them getting married. I don't think she remembers them getting married. Look at her. <laughs> Okay, do you know what? The more I look at it, the more I hate the quiff. I really liked it, but it, look at that. There's way too much hair. Although, if there is one thing I learned on my travels, it is forever to expect the unexpected. Oh my God, he's one of those guys that goes on holiday, like to find themselves, doesn't find themselves, takes a shit ton of drugs, spends their family's money and comes back a newborn man. Ick. Have you noticed they've all changed their wardrobe and she stays in yellow? I think it's, I think there's something to do with the fact that this is her season and she's going to have her own transformation where the yellow gets the bin. And I can't wait. <laughs> Babe, honestly, just like write the most salacious thing about all of those girls so he has no options except for you. Breaking up with your best friend and then befriending the person you both hated. She wins, I fear. You did. I have been dreaming of my future husband since I was a child. He should be handsome, romantic, intelligent, fictional, bread, and <laughs> I'm not buying it yet. I'm not buying it yet. I'm only okay. I'm only fifteen minutes in. Maybe Shonda will work her magic, but I'm just not buying it yet. A good deal, I know. It was all the rage in Paris. Oh my god, it was Paris. He was in Paris. That's where his truly exotic travels that he couldn't speak about were Paris. <laughs> Neither of you will be inheriting anything if you do not go home and get to work. Well, can we not come over for Hello, my two daughters. You will get nothing in life if you don't go home and get raw dogged. Fuck it. First, your cook is so much better than ours. Well, that's your fault for marrying men without title. Go. No dinner for you till you have sex. <laughs> I just hope they take their time. I like that. She knows they're fucking dimwitted idiots with nothing to go for them. And she knows as much as her little daughter is always in these ghastly dresses, she knows she has the most hope. I like that. I take comfort in knowing that you will always be here to take care of me. Oh, never mind. I way gave her higher expectations than she deserved. And you are invited here to congratulate on your many new admirers. I'm not certain that that should cheer me. Bridgertons, my apologies for the- It's just so hard when all of these girls just want me. It's just so difficult. Mr. Dundas, can I offer you a drink? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you aware, Mrs. Smondrich, of your great aunt, Lady Kent? Kent, yes. We met once in my youth, very cold lady. She is colder now, I am afraid. She just died. <laughs> How can you say that? She's, she's, you're here to tell someone their family member is dead and you say she's cold now? Like as in... <laughs> well, she left us something? She has not left you something. She has left your son, Nicholas, everything. And while you have several cousins who are more closely related to her, none have male children. As such, Nicholas shall be the next Baron of Kent. No one in the show deserves it more than they do. No one in the show deserves it more than they do. I love this for them. I wonder what Whistledown will write about next issue. She's in a cloak. She's in a cloak. We're going to have a reveal. We're going to have a reveal. I honestly cannot put into words how excited I am for this. Nothing, nothing goes best than a woman with red hair and a green dress. Honestly, that, that, that red hair and the forest green. Is that forest green? Emerald green? Emerald. 
the emerald of the season. I do not think that will be necessary. <laughs> wow. What a striking gown you have on. You, you as well, my lord. Uh, <laughs> not, not the gown part, obviously the first part. It is a, a pleasure to see you all in your proper evening dress, which is not at all... Oh, it's ruined it. She fucking ruined it. Very much. But perhaps too much. My mama's always telling me, put my books down. Uh, not that there is any... Shut up, shut up, shut up! <gasps> Mummy and Daddy! How the fuck did she look at her like that? Did you see that? Look at that. Wait. What's that? What a raging bitch! You're on the sidelines too, babe. No one's asked you to dance either. Why being so hateful? It's giving projection. Hateful little bitch. And why do I have the feeling that you, in turn, know how to make one wither, if you so choose? That felt a little sexual. I know it wasn't supposed to, but it kind of... That would have gotten to me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I want to know what happened on these late nights. And whatever happened to you, I must say, Bridgerton, you are much more fun this season. Do you know what? I actually think, I think nothing actually happened on his trips. Like nothing worthwhile, which is why he keeps... Oh. Like, I feel like the way I'm predicting it is at some point in the season, we're going to find out that actually nothing happened or something really sad happened, which has made him a changed man or whatever the fuck. And he's keeping it secret and he's projecting this idea of who he is and what he's actually experienced. But he's evading all of it because he doesn't want people to know. And he likes this air of mystery because nothing actually happened. Aside from Francesca. Do you see, do you see what um, Eloise is wearing here? So I just saw an interview of her discussing this before I watched the season and she actually broke her wrist on set. Like she, um, she was kicking her leg up or something. The dresses that she was wearing were a bit too big or whatever the fuck. I don't know. And she fell back and broke her wrist and she had to have a cast on for a lot of the seasoning, for a lot of the seasons. Even though it's summer, they called it a summer muff, even though a summer muff isn't something that exists. It's a muff is essentially something that you have to keep your hands warm. And they created this for the summer called a summer muff <laughs> so that she can hide her cast. Isn't that so funny? She broke her wrist kicking her leg up in a skirt. That's really funny. Let us think only of ourselves. We are far more interesting. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree with you. They should fall in love. They should fall in love. I think it's it's very well known. Eloise is not straight. We're going to just disregard her book. Eloise is not a straight woman. They should fall in love. I was in 17 cities this summer. And what I have learned is that charm can be taught. Colin, I cannot. When are you going to start taking lessons? When are you going to start taking lessons? You of all people would be quite interested in today's issue, Penelope. Lady Whistledown has a good deal to say about your precious Bridgertons. Call it, in fact. Whatever she has said about him, she is wrong. D Brother, afternoon. Where were you? Get to it. I need to see what she said. As with Mr. Colin Bridgerton, who seems to have embraced a new personality entirely. But one must wonder is this new character the real him, or simply a ploy for attention? I said that. I will never forgive her. Yikes. Have any idea who she might be? I do not. But trust me, if I ever find out, I will make sure it is her life that is ruined. Now I'm having fun. Now I'm excited. Okay, that is episode one out of the way. That was good, let me not lie, I was a little bit bored at first and I wasn't sold on Colin. But now that he's angry and he's been kind of red for how I've read him, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited, I'm gonna watch the next episode and then get on with my day. Okay, let's watch the next episode. Ew. There's a whole thing about this, isn't there? There's like a whole historical thing about this. About like pineapples, wait. Yeah, so pineapples used to be really, really expensive because they were being exported and apparently people in the UK and our side of the world didn't know what they were because it's not a region for like 
pineapples to grow. Obviously, they get exported and they used to cost, look how much they used to cost, $8,000 in the 1700s and 1800s. And um, so stuff like this, this pineapple in the show are like an even bigger expression of opulence and grandness and expenses because it's just proving I'm rich and I'm wealthy and I can have a diamond pineapple. And a lot of people who were rich used to buy real fresh pineapples, not even to like eat them or anything, but just to prove that they could have it. That's such a fun little fact I had. Well, I just suppose I can show you. Not me. Don't you dare try and flirt with me, you stupid, ugly bitch. What a delightful to see you all. It's such a splendid weather we are having. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's painful. Yeah, that should be your reaction. Shall I take your fatigue? It is fatiguing preparing to be lady of this house. Shall I? Now hold on a second. Now hear me out. She looks good. She looks good. What? There is, I trust, every reason to hope both of you might, before long, be presenting the family with an heir. Mama. This poor woman is pimping her daughters out to their husbands, trying so hard to push out a kid for fame and fortune. It's giving Kris Jenner 1800s. Full moon is on the rise, a harbinger of fertility. I suggest you make good use of it. Didn't realize you were werewolves. <laughs> Imagine what you would want to say to me if I were a suitor. Your eyes, the most remarkable shade of blue. Yet somehow they shine even brighter when you are kind. I loved that. I loved that. I loved that. Oh my god. It was cheesy and it was cliche, but I loved it. He is still alone at night. Read the rest of it. In those moments alone, as my fingers trace freckles from cheek to collarbone, or as I watch the way starlight dances across skin. I, I, I did not mean to. You did not mean to pick up my journal and read it? Damn! It's cut on your hand! It is nothing. It's not nothing. There's no way that much blood came out the set. He said damn as it cut him. Where did all the blood come from? I, I love these shots. I love shots like this where it's just close up of hands. I love them. It's just, it's giving like the, the uh, Kira Knightley Pride and Prejudice. I love that shot. I love that shot. I adore everything about that. It's so tender, it's so feminine, it's so delicate. I am not certain Mr. Stowell is taking your experiment so casually. Mm. Look at her eyes. That's really frightening. When he inserts himself. Inserts himself? Inserts himself where? We kiss, and then he makes an odd sound, and then he goes to change his britches. <laughs> You're joking! You're joking, of course. Of course, there's no one more fitting for that to be real than her. <laughs> She's living out my fantasy. Oh my god. It's like it, the, the moon is out. It's dark. She's in a carriage of her own rocking side to side and crying. This is like my fantasy. Every time I cry, I'm just in the corner of my bed, miserable in the dark, with my phone in my hand. <laughs> Why can't I cry like this? It was foolish to ask a suitor. Now, what is foolish is being unreasonable about what you can achieve. You might find a husband in your third year out. Fuck you. What the fuck? How could you ever expect your child to have any form of self-value, self-worth and self-confidence or to ever get married and break out of your spinsterhood when you speak to them like that? What a rubbish way to speak to someone. Do you kiss me? But I like 
like that the music stopped as it happened. It built up and then it stopped. <laughs> So that was the first two episodes of Bridgerton season three. I'm now officially having fun. I was getting a little bit bored every now and then. I wasn't very sold on the Colin Penelope thing, but I'm, 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 I'm slowly on the market again. Um, that was fun. Now that I know he's finally gotten a taste of what it would be like to take her out of the friend zone and no longer look at her so platonically, I feel like the angst and the pining and the excitement is about to make its debut. And I can't wait. My favourite thing about all of these seasons and every period piece I ever watch is the angst and the pining and the painful yearning. And I cannot wait. That was fun. I will see you next week with the next two episodes. And then in a few weeks when they release the second half of the series. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.